Hello friends, my name is Muhammad Afifuddin and today we are going to learn the basic introduction of design of slab. First of all, we will see what is slab, then its classification, one way and two way slab and general design steps involved in the design of slab. So, what is slab? Slab is a structural element or a structural component which has depth very small than the other two dimensions that is length and width. Here you can see that the depth is very small and the other two dimensions are greater. Slabs are used in all types of structure such as floor and roof covering. As the slab is considered as the topmost element of a structure, it carries the load and transfers it to the supporting beams. Slabs can be classified on the basis of ratio of longer span to the shorter span. Here we took LY as the length of longer span and LX as the length of shorter span. According to the ratio of LY by LX, there are two types of slabs. Number one is one way slab and number two is two way slab. This classification is also called as classification based on nature of bending. Why it is called so? We will see it afterward. When the ratio of length of longer span to the length of shorter span is equal or greater than 2, then this type is called as one way slab. Here we can see that the length of longer span LY is of 6 meter and shorter span LX is of 2 meter. If we take the ratio of LY by LX that is 6 divided by 2, we will get the answer is 3. That is greater than 2 and hence we can call this slab as a one way slab. As bending takes place only along the shorter span, this slab is also called as slab spanning in one direction. Therefore, to resist the bending, the main reinforcements are provided along the shorter span and distribution reinforcement are provided in the longer span. In one way slab, loads are carried along one direction. In the design of one way slab, you provide less steel and hence depth of slab increases. Therefore, the thickness of one way slab is more than two way slab. Chajja and verandas are the examples of one way slab. On the other hand, the two way slabs are those in which the ratio of longer span to the shorter span is less than two that is LY by LX ratio should be less than 2. For example, here the length of longer span LY is 6 and shorter span LX is 4. After taking the ratio of LY to the LX, we will get the answer 1.5 that is less than 2 and we can call it as a 2-way slab. In 2-way slab, the bending takes place in both directions. Therefore, the main reinforcements are provided along the both directions. And the slab is also called as slab spanning in two directions. Two-way slabs are supported by beams on all four sides and the bending takes place in both directions. Hence, the deflected shape of this slab is dish or saucer-like shape. For construction of floor in multi-story building, these slabs are generally used. To design any structural member, we have to follow some steps and recommendations given by IS code. Here are some general steps to design a slab. Firstly, we have to find out the type of slab by taking the ratio of LY by LX. Then we have to estimate the thickness from the IS recommendations. Then similarly, effective span. After that, the most important part of that design is to calculate loading. We have to calculate self weight of slab, then live load and finishing load. Live load and finishing load can be taken from IS 875 part 1. From loading, we will find the factored bending moment, required depth and reinforcement required for the both as main reinforcement and distribution reinforcement. And finally, we have to check for shear, deflection etc. to check whether our design is safe or not. This was the brief introduction in design of slab. In next lecture, we will learn this in details. Thank you.